Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
out. You could have chosen me to be an example of a no good, nobody. But God, you chose me. You saved me. You set me aside. And Lord, I'm grateful. God asks you to bless us now. Bless Pastor Casper. Bless his wife, Lord. Bless the entire church congregation today, Lord. Lord, lift us up where we belong. Give us, Lord, a word today. A word of these lips of clay. And Lord, I will obey. Whatever you say, Lord, let me say. Use me, Lord, for your service. This lesson we ask in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. That's what I wanted to do. God put a burden in my heart. I didn't understand at the time. But I wasn't happy. I was depressed. I was sad. But this longing in my heart, he drew me to Pastor Casper. Who did your pastor talk to him? And Pastor was very busy at the time. It took me days that I could really get close to him to get my hands on him, to talk to him tell him how I was feeling, but when I finally got into them, we were having a, a family fellowship in the cafeteria area down there. Wednesday night, everybody come out and have a church family dinner. And uh, I finally made it. Here's Pastor, son, you've been trying to catch up with me. Here I am right now. And I just fell in his arms. And I cried like a baby. I could not control my tears. Yeah. All of my bundled up emotions, yeah. my, 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 my anxieties, and everything that I was yeah. going through at the time just yeah. came unloaded. I loaded it right on him. And Pastor probably wondered, Lord, what's the matter? <laughs> okay, son. <laughs> I wouldn't let him go. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> but God knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. God knew. Yeah. Yeah. Because I didn't have peace in my life until after that day. He connected me with Superintendent Pastor Johnny Castleberry. Yeah. He connected me with him. Yeah. And ever since that day, there has been a peace in my life. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There has been direction. And I'm not doubting about the way. All right, sir. I don't have any doubts about the way. And I'm not in a hurry to get anywhere. Amen. I'm not in a hurry to get anywhere. What I want to do, and I told my pastor under watch care when I was there in college, yeah, what is it you want to do for the Lord? And I never really thought about it. I said, I want to finish school and get out from now here in the country. This is what I was thinking. <laughs> but what is it you want to do for the Lord while you're here? So maybe I can help you. And I said, okay. No, I pray about it and think about it. He said, what I really want to do is just help my pastor. 
That's what I said. I said, I'm going to help my pastor. I just want to be a help to my pastor. And my thoughts in along those lines was like deacon. <laughs> so once a pastor appointed me deacon, I thought, hey, this is it. I can be a help to the pastor as a deacon. So I exhaled. And I was excited and I said, now I know what I'll be doing till I die. <laughs> I did. I exhaled and I just got comfortable. I said, now I can work it from here. I want to be the best deacon. I said, Pastor, what is the highest that a deacon can be? I heard a lot of people say, ordained deacon and all of that stuff. So I kept inquiring and asking about it. They said, well, the Church of God in Christ deacon is just a deacon. So we don't have ordained deacon. I think they do in the Baptist in the yeah, denominations. Yeah. So I wanted to be, I said, I want to be the highest deacon I can be and I can, I go on to glory. <laughs> But the Lord saw different. Because he troubled my spirit again when I was reaching the plateau of the deacons. That where I thought, yeah, I'm almost there. I'm almost there that I can just ride it on out. And he troubled my spirit again. Like he did when I first finished God. He troubled my spirit. And my spirit was not satisfied until I accepted the call into the ministry. Once I accepted the call into the ministry, God... On my job, I was working when I got out of college on my job. I said, I want to reach the $100,000 figure in business. My degree is in business management. I want to reach that plateau in my job. And to do that, I'm on a fast track to get there really quick. And I was working and doing everything hard as I can, and nothing would work out right. It was going on, because I know I'm not a dummy. But every opportunity came, I flocked it. Yeah, yeah. Everything yeah. I've done that I was supposed to do, and everyone else that came in the same program with me at the same time was moving on. Okay. And I was not doing it. I was not going anywhere. I was standing still and shredding water. And I said, What is the matter? But when I accepted what the Lord has for you to do, I said, Well, what is the matter? Why am I not progressing? I know I'm not a dummy, and I love you. And I work, I tithe, I do everything. Lord, why am I not moving? And the Lord said, uh, when are you going to do what I want you to do? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So I had to give up deacon remorsefully and accept my call into the ministry. And when I did that, when I did that, immediately the Lord started progressing me uh, fast. I moved up in about eight months year and a half or so that I, that I was trying to do for over 10 years since I graduated from college and then in 8 to 10 months I was all the way up to my plateau just like that so it was me, I was holding myself back yeah, 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 yeah. but God is good, amen my emotions are all over the place right now, Dad, you took me way back there because I don't ever want to think of a time that you're not here and that you're not around I would rather have you here to your 134. I don't ever have to be in charge. I just love serving you, Dad. Amen. I just love serving you. That gives me all of this, the joy and the satisfaction I need. Amen. Amen. But I love the fact that you're training us and that you're pouring into us. He really pours into us, elders and ministers. Yeah. Everyone can be a witness of that. He really poured into you. And I thank you for that, Pastor. Let's give our pastor a hand. Yeah. I celebrate him. I give him flowers. Because he is a great man. Yes, he is. I call him dad and I call mom mom all the time. But he is really a great, great man of God. Yes, he is. She is an esteemed woman of God. Yes. And sometimes I cut him short when I'm saying mom and dad. They really are men and women chosen after God's own heart. And I love them both so dearly. God bless your hearts. I've already, I don't know, I'm not be before you long. We've had service already. So let me just speedily go through here. And if you would forgive me for not acknowledging everyone, I acknowledge all of the esteemed men of God. I acknowledge all the esteemed women of God. Amen? Amen. And all of the sister and brothers of the faith. Amen. Amen. God bless you. And last but not least, I would not 
skip over my wife, my lovely yeah. wife. Yeah. Yeah. My lovely wife. Yeah. 34 years. 34 years. Yeah. Yeah, we've been married. We've been married 34 years. And uh, so how many years we've known each other was more than that. We had to have some courting time. Maybe a couple of months or so, anyway. For 34 years, we've been married. <laughs> when I laid eyes on her, I said, that was it. My best friend, my best friend, and he's still my best buddy today. Obi Dixon, and I have another best buddy named Dennis Duncan. We don't see each other often, but when we see each other, we pick right up where we left off at. We just love each other the same. They'll be your best friends there. You don't see them every day. That's right. Maybe you see them, but I remember them. And I love them dearly. But my best buddy, O.V., says, Harold, because our relationship began to change when I found my wife. When I found one, he and our buddy relationship began to change. Harold, what's going on, man? What's going on? Me, you in love? You love her, man? So, you know, my ego and men talking back and forward to one another. I said, well, I like a whole, whole lot. <laughs> I didn't want to hurt his feelings. Because he said, no, not the love, man. No, not that. No, Harold, Harold, Harold. He was trying to, he was trying to snap me out of it. I said, well, I didn't want to disappoint him. I said, well, I like a whole lot. And, I, and every, when I see him every now and again, I say, I still like a, a whole lot. <laughs> That's my buddy, Lawanda. God bless you. I won't be before you long, and thank you for putting up with me. But I just was overcome by emotion. I really was speechless. All right, son. The pastor All had right. such his heart felt. I felt his heart. I felt his heart. Yeah. Amen. 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 So I want to go to the word of the Lord today. The scripture is found in James, fifth chapter, sixteenth verse. Because Glennis' birthday is on May the 16th. So that 5 and 16 stuck out to me when I seen it. I thought it was all right, the Lord. All right. But I knew it was something significant about 5 and 16. Right. But the Lord allowed me to uh, get a word out of that scripture. Amen? Amen. James 5 and 16. Amen. If you don't mind, just stand with me for you know, we're reading and I promise you I won't. Go ahead, son. James 5 and 16 says, confess your faults one to another and pray for another, one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. My subject today, and you may be seated after we say it, my subject today is simply Come clean. All right, all right. Come clean. Amen. Pray. Pray, my strength. Uh, 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 <clears throat> we'll give you what the Lord has laid on our heart today. Though James seems to be speaking about praying for those who are sick in that fifth chapter, 16th verse, the overall command is specifically to pray for one another. Yeah, yeah. We can't pray for one another enough. Praying for one another really works. Yeah. This is a key to being a help to the body. Come on, son. And we got to go back to praying one for another. Amen. 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 Further, James instructs us to confess our faults. Now, the apostle does not mean that we should reveal every sin and fault to everyone in the congregation. Amen. That would be a grave mistake. Because yes, everybody not praying for you. So everybody shouldn't hear your faults and your sins. Amen. That's not a confessing place for it. Amen. He implies that we should confide our problems to a close trusted friend. So that he or she can help us by praying to God for help in overcoming it. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect, man. I am not perfect. I'm not perfect. You pray for me. Yeah. And I'll pray for you. And watch God change things. Watch God change things. Now that's a confession right there. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. You didn't have to tell them everything and all about it. Yes, the dirty details. 
Uh huh. Because you know it'll reflect back on you again. I know he wasn't no good. <laughs> I know she wasn't about nothing. She just told me. See, you should be praying right then. But here's somebody confessing where they are and being earnest. But to just say, I'm not perfect. You pray for me. I pray for you. And we watch God change things. There you go. There you go. Now that's the way to come clean. We should pray for one another. And it need not be known by others or even ask of us specifics. We may notice a brother or sister struggling with a problem. Rather than pointing out his or her flaws to others, we should get on our knees and petition God to come to their aid. Amen. The Apostle James here assures us that such a prayer given seriously and thoughtfully will make a difference. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 The Jews say regarding prayer, he who prays surrounds his house with a wall stronger than iron. Another of their sayings says penitence can do something, but prayer can do everything. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Penitence, that's, you know, they get the smoke and swing it in that thing for uh -huh. sins and all of that. Yeah. It can do something. Uh -huh. It means something to them, but prayer yeah. can do everything. There you go. There you go. <laughs> to them and to us, prayer is nothing less than Contacting and employing the power of God. Yeah. It is the challenge through which the strength and grace of God is brought to bear or carry on the troubles of life. Uh -huh. Anybody have troubles in this life? Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. We have the prayer of faith for our troubles. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. James 5 and the 13th chapter reads Is any of one of you in trouble? He should pray. Uh huh. Is anyone happy? Let him sing songs of praise. Uh -huh. He should. Is any one of you sick? Yeah. He should call the elders uh -huh. of the church uh -huh. to pray uh -huh. over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord. Uh huh. Yes, sir. There's a formula right there for our healing. Yes. yes. For our progress. In the troublesome times we find in life. Yes, sir. We need yes, to revert sir. to that more and more. Yes. Elders. Uh -huh. We need to revert to that. Right. Anointing with all. Yes. In the name of the Lord. Yes. Yeah. 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 We yeah. need to do that. Let me back up in that scripture where it says. He should pray. And then any, is anyone happy? Let him sing songs of praise. Man, I back, divert back to that for a short moment because I remember when I was first married and I went out and got in an apartment and I got my wife, my bride. I did what Pastor Elsie Castleberry told me to do. I made my nest. I had a job. I told him I'm making a job. I got a job. I made $55 a week. I wash dishes. I wash dishes over here. He said, I got a job and now I got me a place. Now what you say? Said, All right. <laughs> that was the first time I went. He said, now, where you live at? I said, I live with my mama. You can't bring your wife to your mama. I'm talking about getting married. You need your own place. So I, I went back to him after I did whatever he told me to do. <laughs> I said, I got my own place. Uh -huh. I got a job. $55 a week. If I work some overtime and work real hard, I can bring home about 60 or 65, maybe 70. All right, all right. But I had a job. Big all right. Bless him, sir. He said, all right, then. So he tied us he tied us not up. He knotted us up, amen. And I believe we, we're married because he said, little brother Wallace here. We married here a little what little what that wasn't there. And little brother Wallace here we come in here and we married him in the name of the Lord. They kissed the bride. I said, yeah. So now we say, I don't know if we married or not, baby. <laughs> he called me little brother Wallace. Which my uncle was a deacon at the time, brother Wallace. And he said, Hello, what Ned or what love? He is kind of scrambling over, but he married us. <laughs> 
He hooked us up, amen. He did something right, because 34 years in counting. I thank God for that, amen. For his counsel. For his counsel and, and for what he done for us. Yes, sir. So, so I married her and our son, Cedric, on the same day. Amen. Because he was already on board. Uh -huh. He was already on board. He tried to warn her not to marry me because he cried all day. <laughs> Can nobody do anything with him. He was trying to say, Mama, don't marry him. <laughs> Probably, well, I don't know. He just cried and cried. He couldn't do nothing with him. She couldn't get ready. She couldn't do nothing. I went to work that day because I was not coming home with no $44. I'm coming home with $45. Baby. So I went to work, but he was at home crying and crying. She said, can't do nothing with him. I can't get ready. Can't do nothing. But when we got to church, my grandmama Wallace, Wallace, Robbie Wallace got him. He went over there and went to sleep. <laughs> said he just needed his grandmama. That was his great grandmama. Yeah, he got her and he went to sleep. He got quiet and I married both of them that day. <laughs> but I said that, uh, I know I'm lengthy of then I plan on being but uh, We were in our little apartment. And we were just going along and everything was nice, peachy. Man, I was loving it. And my wife would get up and start cleaning the house and moving around and doing it. We ain't had that much stuff. We had some <laughs> old furniture. One of my, my aunts came. But she was cleaning it, mopping, and you smell um, uh, pine and stuff. <laughs> wiping down and doing stuff like that. But she was saying, she been singing, singing, singing. And I was probably back there in the bed. And my mom said, how's it going, son? I said, everything's fine. Then I said, that's all I said. said how's it going, son? Well, this thing is fine, but man, she will not stop singing. <laughs> <laughs> she sang all the time. So mom said, well, don't worry about her singing. Don't worry about it. She's singing. She's singing. When you get worried about it, and when she stops singing. <laughs> so I shut up then. I said, sing, baby, sing. Because you sang when you're happy. She wasn't singing the blues either, so I know she was happy. So it says, if, if you are, back in my word, it says, where did I say that at? Thank you. It says, uh, is anyone happy? Let him sing songs of praise. Amen. Amen. So I had to let her go. I had to let her sing it. Amen. Amen. But if the prayer offered in faith, it will make the sick person well. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. The Lord would raise him up. Yes. And if he has sinned, he will be forgiven. Yes, sir. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Man, that's some, that's some rich meat in that word. I know I'm not swallowing it or saying it with my hand behind my ear. But that is a word that is powerful to help us in this 2016. We're so good at living beneath our privilege. We're good at that. Yes, we are. Living beneath our privilege. But when the answer to our dilemma and our sicknesses and our trouble is just simply come clean. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. That's the answer a lot of times to our dilemma, yeah. to our sickness and our troubles. Yeah. Simply come clean. Yes, sir. Yeah. James 5 and 17 in 18 reads, Elijah yeah, yeah. was a man just like us. Yeah, he prayed earnestly that it would not rain. Uh -huh. And it did not rain on the land for three and a half years. Again he prayed, and the heavens gave rain, and the earth produced its crops. Uh -huh. In these two verses, James used the illustration of Elijah to show just how effective yeah. righteous prayer can be. Yes, sir. Yes, he chose sir. Elijah because the biblical story of his this prophet brings out his passionate mm -hmm. and sometimes still carnal nature. Yes. Nevertheless, he prayed earnestly for drought, and God responded. Yes. No rain fell on the earth for three years and six months. 
When he prayed again for rain, God again heard and acted. What tremendous power can be unleashed through the power that conforms to the will of God? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. A lot of us <clears throat> and a lot of us pretending go on in our churches today. Some people put on a false front. They use right Christian words. Attend church almost every Sunday. Right. 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 And even pray before meals. Right. They pretend they have it all together all right. uh, in order to gain the approval of others. Right. Right. But inside, they may be struggling yeah. with brokenness, yeah. struggling with guilt, yeah. 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 struggling with doubt, Come on. Yeah. Or Preach or fighting Preach. addictions, yeah. or yeah. Other persistent sin. The word. But God placed us in. A body of believers yes, to support is. one another. Yes. Right. Admit that you are not perfect. Mm. Amen. Then seek counsel of a godly brother or sister in Christ. Mm. One writer says it like this. Don't hide your sins and cover up pretending there is nothing wrong. Mm. Instead confess it yeah. and yeah. repent. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. God will fill your heart yeah. with a new song. Yeah, yeah. Be what God intends you to be. Yeah. What God intends. Don't pretend to be what you're not. Yeah. All right. Thank you, God. I said all of that, saints. I said all of that that I said Thank to say this. Thank you for your the Holy Ghost in me has prompted me to tell you today to come clean. Yes. All right. Yes. Be honest with yourself. Yes. And be honest with God. There you go. Yes. Yes. We're in the beginning of 2016. Uh huh. And the Lord wants us to lay aside every weight yes. that so easily yes. beset us. Yes. Let us run with patience the race that is set before us. Yes. Some of us are disappointed that 2015 was not the year we hoped it would be. Well. But be assured that the Lord is leading you into your destiny by exercising His will for your life. Yes. I went through that in my life. I had my plans. I knew what I was going to do, which way I was heading. Three years, five years, ten years, short term, long term goals. Yes. But what did the Lord have to say about it? There you go. There you go. What struggle is holding you back? What struggle? Yeah. Yeah. Don't allow it to rule you. That's right. mm -hmm. What problem is perplexing you? Yeah. What health crisis and issue that is holding you bound? Mm -hmm. As I said once before, the Lord dealt with me through my grandbaby. And she told me she was watching Frozen when I called her to confront her about it, something that we had. She said, let it go, Papa. <laughs> what you doing? Let it go, Papa. I said, but you said, but let it go, Papa. <laughs> so we can take some advice. Amen. You're right, sir. We can take some advice from Cadence. Yes, Amen. Sir. Yeah. And just let it go. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Because it's weighting us down. Yeah. 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 Some things is pulling us backward. Yeah. Yeah. We should be going forward. Yeah. Yeah. But we just got to let it go. Yeah. Yeah. Some things we don't understand. Yeah. And you say, why, Lord? Why? Why, why me? And why that? And why now? And we why and why? We never have an answer. But sometimes the best answer is just to let it go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let God the Potter fix your brokenness. Let God the Potter fix your hurts. Uh huh, uh huh. Let God the Potter release you from guilt and shame. Uh huh. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Have confidence in the word of the Lord. Amen. It will release you from doubting. Yeah, yeah. I declare that the Lord will loose you yes. from any addiction. I ask God to heal you from all manner of sickness. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Church, why don't you say amen? Amen. 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 This is a familiar story found in Genesis 27. Jacob replied, I am Esau, your firstborn, and I have done what you told me. Please sit up and eat the meat I have brought. Uh -huh. Then you can give me your blessing. Well, he's exchanging a blessing for a lie. Uh -huh. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's lying to get a blessing, isn't he? Mm -hmm. oh, Isaac asked, my son, how did you find an animal so quickly? Yeah. The Lord your God was kind to me, Jacob mm -hmm. answered. There is another oh, line. My son, Isaac said, come closer where I can touch you and find out if you really are Esau. Jacob, Jacob went closer. His father touched him and said, you sound like Jacob, but your hands feel hairy like Esau. Uh -huh. And so Isaac blessed Jacob thinking he was Esau. Uh -huh. Isaac asked, are you really my son Esau? My God. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. He asked, Jacob answered, there I go again, a lie. Don't lie to yourself. Yeah. If you want to be blessed, yeah. don't lie to yourself. Preach, preach yeah. Don't lie to yeah. others. Yeah. Yeah. Do what you say you're going to do. Yeah. Amen. And let the Lord bless you. Yeah. Yes, sir. You yes, don't sir. have to take anybody else's blessing. No, no. So what God has done for others, yes. he will do for you. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. As I speed on to my closing, Second Car Chronicles 7 and 14 says, it sums it all up in this place. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves yes, 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 and pray yes. and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive Come on, son. And we're yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. We need forgiveness yeah. today. Yeah. And Lord knows we need yeah. healing. Yeah. He will heal their land. Yeah. And the appeal to this God. is simply yeah. come, clean. come clean. There's no way around it. Yeah. 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 Fashion yeah. is coming yeah. clean with God. Yeah. 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 Check out David. As if David's Ooh. affair with Bathsheba wasn't enough. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. As if the murder of her husband well, wasn't yeah. enough. Yeah. David danced all around the truth. Well, yeah. He denied his wrongdoing, and yes, it took yes, a prophet yes, 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 to make David see. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What he didn't want to see. Yeah. yeah. And when he did, he didn't like it one bit. Well, so at that point, David waved the white flag. Yes, sir. No come, more combat with God. No more arguing with God. Yeah. But he confessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sweet relief. Yeah. 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 That's a good formula yeah. in that, isn't it? Yeah. He confessed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He came clean with God. Yeah, yeah. 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 That's what he did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In his own words, he said, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. Yeah, yeah. Whose sin is covered. Yeah, yeah. Blessed is the man whom the Lord imputed. Yeah. Not iniquity. And in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silent, my bones waxed old through my rowing all the day long. Yeah. For day and night. Thy hand was heavy up on me. Mm -hmm. My moisture is turned into drought. Love song. Yes. Sell I. But in 32 and 5, he said, I acknowledge my sin yeah. unto thee. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And mine iniquity have I not hid. Yeah. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord. Yeah. And thou forgavest the iniquity of my sin. Yeah. Oh, say lie. Yeah. I want to get rid of guilt. Yeah. Come clean come, with God. Yeah. Right. If we confess our sins, yeah. Yeah. He is faithful yes, he is. and just to forgive yeah. us yeah. our yeah. sins yeah. and purify us from all unrighteousness. Yeah. Won't He do it? Yeah. Yeah. I just want to tell you today, God laid it on my heart yeah. to share yeah. with you this message today. Uh huh. He just want us to come clean. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Time to stop playing church. Yeah. We'll get real with God. Yeah. Time to stop half stepping. Yeah. Well, if you're gonna go, go all the way. Yeah. Come on, come on. Time to give it up. Yeah. Time to give it up. Yeah. Sickness all in the land. But there's healing to be had. Amen. Yeah. We just gotta do what the Bible says. Yeah. 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 Come 
clean and let the Lord know that I'm yours, Lord. And we kick him to the side And we call on him as needed I got it from here, Lord but Wait a minute, now I need you Come quickly We just need to activate the Lord That is in us He left us, didn't he? But he said, I will leave And I will come again But in the meantime will be with you. Therefore, I am with you always. Stand with me. 